Tony on one of my uh, how to do it series. Uh, have you ever decided to go on holidays and you were worried about your plants and you didn't want to take your plants and take them to your neighbors because maybe you have too many or you have um, you don't want to get the keys to your neighbor you don't have a I guess the mother or mother-in-law or father-in-law to come over and look after. Now, I belong to the association on the internet called Couch Surfing, and I have a lot of people that I know that travel back and forth, and they leave their apartments for uh, months on end, and they have nobody to look after their plants. So I came up with an idea in order how to water your plants and not work too much with it, and not to worry about it. I recently went to uh, Portugal for about a month and a half and when I came back my plants were perfect and the way watered. And the way we do it, we'll go to the hardware store and you get these long sheets of um, material used for waxing or cleaning around the house. And they're very absorbent. Now in America they sell them as the name Sham Wow or car chamois or absorbent towels and they're not the microfiber type but more of the spongy type fabric and what you do is you cut them into strips like this and you do not go more than uh, a few millimeters for if you do you're going to have some problems with too much water going into your plant. Now you're wondering, what is he going to do with that? Well, I'm going to show you. The way it basically works is you have the plant here and you have water here. And what the idea, what the idea basically is, well, it's not an idea because it works, is you put the chamois part that you cut into the water and you take this part and you insert it into the dirt. And guess what? So it, let's go with, let's go on with it, show you what I will do before I leave on holidays, but only with one plant. If you have too many plants, what you can do is put it on the lid, put the plants on the ledge of your bathtub, and then put these going into the bathtub full of water and you can put a timing light down there with some type of light to give them some light but because I'm in my kitchen area I don't have to worry about that so first thing you have to do is you have to experiment a day or two before you go so what you do is you get one glass of water you take one chamois and you're going now to experiment how much water is going to go into that size pot if it is a bigger pot this would be wider, not longer. If it's a smaller pot, this will be smaller. Because I'll tell you why. It will actually absorb so much water sometimes that it will actually leak out of your pot. That's how well it works. So first thing you do is you stick this in here and you get it well soaked. Now what you do is very, very simple. You come over to your plant, you go to a place in the side, you put your finger down, you make a hole, and you take that edge and you bury it into the hole, say about uh, three or four centimeters. And that is basically it for the test. Now what you do is you leave this part emerged in the water, in the cup. And what you do now is you leave this overnight and then you come in the morning and take a look at it and see how much water has gone down here and has absorbed into the pot. And this way, you lift the bottom and you see how much water is there on the bottom. Here we have a little bit, but it was from previous watering, not this. If you see that all of a sudden that there's too much water coming on the bottom and it's overflowing, that's why you should always do this in the sink area and it's with something underneath like a bowl or a plate. And if you see it's too much, then you chamois and you would cut it a little bit more thin and then you retest it again. So it's good to do this two or three days before you actually leave for okay, we're back. So now I'm gonna pretend I'm going on holidays and I want my plants to be watered properly. So the first thing you do is sometimes if you make a mistake or something goes wrong 
and your pot does get overflowed because of this contraption, you need something to make it drain because you're not going to be here and you don't want that all to floor. So what I usually do is I found this second hand, this bottom of a dish rack, which is, I put it on here and you can take basically anything, a wooden spoon, anything, and you level it up. So if and right up to the edge of your sink. Now, if the water does overfill and you're not here for some reason, it will go back into your sink. Now you take your plant and you put your plant right over there as far as possible. There you go. Now you take your you take your cut it strip of sponge and you wet it really, really good. It has to be completely, completely soaked. And do not rinse it out. Now you take one edge of that, say about three centimeters, you go over to your plant to the dirt, go down with your finger and bury that, say about a couple of inches into the ground and then cover the dirt on it. Now, next thing you're gonna do is you have to stick take the bottom plug of your sink and you check the rubber condition on it because if this thing is leaking and all the water goes out of your sink you your take that and take a rag and make sure that that rubber is perfectly clean and all the way around on the bottom of the sink is perfectly clean because you want a tight seal now you put that in tight and fill all the water all the way up to the top until it reaches about one inch. Now I'm not going to fill it all the way but I think you get the idea here. So now this part is right into the water. Now you have maybe about 10 liters of water in here and that will be your water supply for your plant and that's connected into about two three centimeters into your um, plant's uh, soil. And now what we do is if you're going to go away for more than a month, it's very important that we don't want the water to evaporate. Now, like I said, I, I left for about a month and a half. I came back, everything was absolutely perfect. You can put plants all the way around here. Now, what we do now is we have to prevent some of the water from evaporating for an extended period of time. And it's very easy. Take one of your garbage bags that belong to uh, your garbage container and all you do is just wrap it around there and put objects around you don't have to tape it pickle jar put that up there dishwashing lotion and of course a bottle of wine and there you have it that will keep for at least three to four months. One thing you have to be careful here is I have water pinging in here and I did this on purpose to show you that it is filling up full of water into this bag. So what I usually do is I take a knife and right in the middle just put a little bit of hole and push it down. Now what happens if there's any pinging or anything the water will go through the hole and not build up and push your plastic in. And that, as simple as it is sound, that's basically it. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you on my next video.